everyone. How y'all doing? I'm washing these dishes because uh, as I went out like yesterday, I'm thinking my children was going to clean. I told them to wash the dishes, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and knock it out before I make these phones because I hate dishes in my sink. But y'all, I want to come to y'all in a serious video. I'm, I'm a little upset. I am. I'm going to tell y'all the reason why. When I came home last night from the hospital for seeing my sister, I went on, um, I went on, um, wasn't Snapchat. Um, I went on I went on YouTube to TikTok. I went on TikTok. And Peach was on it talking. So it was disturbing. It, it really was. But can I tell y'all something? Get, let me take my shoe. Let me take my shoes off. I'm doing these dishes, y'all. I, I gotta do them. It's all it's all good. I'ma remember that when they need a an iPhone, some earphones and stuff like that. You know, that's how children, some children can be. My children can be selfish at times. Anyway, let me get into this video. I want to get into it because I'm, I'm serious. I'm, I'm really serious. Mom, let me tell you something. Let me, let me tell you. I know how Peach is feeling. The reason why this hard for me, y'all, it's hard for me because this is hard. I feel what she's saying because I can't open to y'all just yet. I can't. I need to earn y'all trust a little bit more before I talk to y'all about this. But I can say and will say if Peach don't receive therapy it's going to damage her. The reason why I say this because I was that girl. See, a lot of stuff y'all don't know what we be going through, what people go through. And that's why I was saying about Atlanta, like, let me wipe my hands, y'all. That's why I was saying about Atlanta. I'm just going to say Atlanta from now on. Because I'm going to say Atlanta from now on. That you got to be thankful for your blessings. You do. And I know what she's going through because I went through that with my mom. Oh, yes, y'all. I went through that with my mom. That being laughed at, teased on, and I can tell y'all a little bit, right? I trust y'all. I can tell y'all a little bit, right? I remember growing up being called dumb, stupid. I remember my mom used to get mad and say, it's your dumb self, it's your stupid self. And I'm like, because I made a small mistake. And the mistake could have been Turn on a wrong TV show. You know, back then we had remote controls and, and stuff like that. We had, we was the, the remote control. We were, the children was the remote control. Okay? We were the remote control. We would be laying down and she would call us, especially me and my brother Vincent. And what hurt me the most is, 
he used to be called all the dummies and stupid and all that stuff the most. But I can remember, I'm going to tell y'all a little bit, and I'm not going to tell y'all too much until I earn some more of your trust. But i never forget one day, I was, I, I'm going to tell you, my mother had a girlfriend named Frances, right? And my mother was the type of mother that she would let people do her, her own kids in, right? So I remember... Francis, she was kind of like a hippie kind of lady. She just wore whatever. She just was herself. So she had some combat boots. And I needed some boots for school. Yep. True story, y'all. Please listen. And she came to my mother with these old, funny combat boots, y'all. They, they looked terrible. They looked terrible. And I remember it was ice on the ground. It was snow. And I had to walk to school. Here I am. About what? Nine years old? Or ten years old? Walking to school. All my siblings in school, I'm walking to school. I, I went to school late because I didn't have no boots. So... When I got, my feet was cold, y'all. Be strong, Angie. My feet was cold. It was cold outside. I was walking. And when I got to school, I told my teacher, I was like, she was like, what's wrong? I said, my feet hurt. And she said, take them off. And she said, why your mom let you wear these boots? I said, because her girlfriend told me I, I can wear them. But I had to go put my books and stuff up and had to go past the kids. So the kids were laughing at me. They were laughing, y'all. And it hurt me so bad. So bad. That ain't it. It's, it's more trauma than that. And I remember going to school. Our clothes sometimes wasn't always dry. You know, it was cold outside. Then come home. See, a lot of stuff my, my dad didn't know. My dad, I can't even remember getting a beating from my dad. Might have got a spanking or something, but my dad was not like that. He was a good father, most definitely. My mom was a good mom too, but my mom didn't know how to show love and she didn't really know how to show it and express it. But the times that she did show it, like we about to have like parties at the house and stuff like that. I can recall her giving me a little hug and like that and, and you know that's when she was happy. It was when she was happy. But being teased at y'all and going through a lot of stuff that I went through, it was painful. It was painful. And it's a lot of stuff that we told in y'all. A lot of y'all have gone through trauma too with your parents and y'all went through stuff too. And it can be very hurtful to a child. It can be very hurtful because you, you carry it on. You carry it on, okay? And I can imagine what Peach is going to. And I, I look at it like this, Tracy. You and I are about the same age. And they hit that girl on it, crying out to you. Help your child. Help her. Go talk to her. Go show her some love. Change the situation. Let YouTube see that you're better than how they want to portray you as. 
because you got a lot of people over there is gonna go on your side, a lot of people gonna go on Peach's side, and a lot of, and that's all they're gonna do is just gonna talk about the situation instead of helping the situation. Help that girl. Help her. You see that she needs help. It's not funny, y'all. It's not, it's not funny. That's why when you come over here and you get the blessings, that's all I'm trying to tell y'all for y'all to understand. You come over here, they monetize you. You get your blessings. You don't have to work. You don't have to do nothing. You didn't get what you needed YouTube and gave you your platform. You can go so far with your platform. And this girl had to come on live to say how she feels. Their mom, listen. You might not like and sometimes we do feel as though our parents don't like us. Yes, we do. All of y'all might have been through it. All of y'all might have been through something like that with your parents. And you feel like your parents don't, don't love you or show you enough love. You know? We got to be very careful when we say to our children. We, 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 we have to be very careful. Because that can very much hinder them for the rest of their life. And the way you beat them. Because I remember getting beatings. And it ain't like the average beating that a, a normal child would get. Mine was brutally beat. Yes. So. I can understand how she feel as going in with her husband. And a woman that has gone through all that pain, the person that they fall in love with, I was in a situation like that too. You think they're going to help with everything that's happening, how you feel, what you're going through. And so the little stuff that she go through, that's why she feels so hurt because she's like, she come to a place that I've been hurt all my life and now... I got somebody that really love me. And then when they do have those moments here in Wood, she feels though like she's hurt. She hurt. It, go, it takes her back. It takes her back. And she's feeling hurt again all over. But if you if you knew that she was at that family place, Mom, and you had all your family there, and she told you, please don't touch on that subject. You should have left it alone. You should have left it. You should have left it alone because you already know if she was hurt back then, what makes you think she ain't gonna be hurt even worse in front of the man that she loved? That can hurt you. You in front of the person that that loves you. Y'all can say what y'all want. Yes, Peach loves wood. It ain't just uh uh, uh and wood loves peach. Wood loves peach too. Okay, so let's stop thinking this man don't love that lady. Okay, so stop. 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 And I ain't bringing up this to get no whatever y'all say or whatever. I've been following Peach since i known Peach. So I got the right to say what the heck I want to say. And she probably would approve. But when you feel as though you finally got that one person to love you, to care for you, been you just about your whole life with and one little incident it ain't his fault it's just that one little incident could take you back to your childhood it's it's in it's true fact it's a it's a subject that'll stick with you it's gonna stick with you it's gonna stick because they gotta think about all them times no that they was been called names and stuff like that. This girl said that she was had to use her mom's bath water. You a grown woman. This was this what Pete's saying now. Now, mom, I'm just going about what Pete's saying. Okay, I don't know if it's true. In my opinion, allegedly. Y'all understand how she feel allegedly. All this is allegedly. But I don't think Peach going to get up here and lie about it. I just can't see her getting up here and lie about it. Like she's still holding on to the fact 
of those boots. And when she talked about that 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 um situation with her boots, I was crying literally because I, I felt her pain because that's what I went through, but it was different. It was different. But it's nothing like being traumatized. And then that person don't even care. I remember being in a hospital, right? And I never forget, nobody in my family came to see me. And the nurses and doctors was like, where your family? Where everybody at? Tell you something. Let me tell you something, y'all. Y'all don't know what that girl going through. The fact that I like both of them, I do. I like both of them now. But I like each more. I'm sorry. Because... When you become a mother, I've been through some stuff with my children too, but I had to put myself in mom position. I had to say, I'm the mom. I'm the mom. I got to take control. I either get got to do it spiritually or, or I got to do it emotionally, enjoying my child with me so we can come together so it can stop. So now we're together. We're not where we want, where we need to be, but we're together because at the end of the day, that's still your child. God gave you this child. And when God gives you that child, you got to love on that child because he gave you a child. So no woman on this channel can sit up there and, and listen to my story and don't have no sympathy for me if you got a child. And don't have a sympathy, no sympathy for Peach. It can still hurt. I think if the mother didn't bring this up recently, it wouldn't have bothered her too much. But you just brought up something that she was trying to get over. And she told you don't talk about it. And you still did it. You shouldn't have did that. You shouldn't have. Because we watched her videos when she was she was on those vacations. She was having a good time. She made videos about it. And then you come along and going to say something in front of her man. And probably her children. And, and, and still talk about it. And she asked you not to. Me and my daughters has gone through some things too. I'm not saying I ain't perfect. But if one of my daughters sit up there and tell me, Mom, please don't say that in, in front of my friends. I ain't gonna open up my dad on mouth because I know it's gonna hurt her. Why would I say that? Why would I keep going on? It's like you wanna hurt her. Let me tell you something. My daughter went through something here that was very tragical about three, about two or three years ago. But guess what? My daughter was on the top of this man and I was on the bottom. I was holding him down. I put on, on I, I submerged this body on him to save my child. And she was handling herself but I knew as a parent, I had to step in and say, uh-uh. Why wish my hands off since I touched my knee? Uh-uh. This is my child. I'm not going to sit there and let you hurt my child. We held him down. I put butt, legs, hips, everything on. Because I said, if he get up, he if he's that strong. And if he get up, he's going to hurt my child. How I'm going to feel? I sure did. 
And I wish it was we could have videotaped it at the time, but I wasn't doing all that. But I and she couldn't even tell you. I held them down. She held them down. But you gotta be very careful of what you say and what you do to a child. And if my if my daughters ever come past this live and I said anything wrong, please forgive me. But overall, I think I've been a good mom. I made some mistakes. I ain't no my mother perfect. But you, mom, you need to handle it. You need to take care of your daughter. Your daughter is one of the most successful women here on these YouTube, Facebook, TikTok streets. And you mean to tell me you're going to go back and make a YouTube video and say, I don't care what nobody, you don't say that. I let me the next time you would have saw me on YouTube, Peach would have been there. And we would have been in a loving place or somewhere kind of getting there. It wouldn't have been no place. I, I don't care what nobody say about me and all that. No, honey. Sometimes you gotta say, let me put on my mom hat. And let me show the world. That I'm a good ass mom. That I ain't out here trying to impress you, 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 you. It's about Peach. It's about how she feels. Because I have seen how Peach sits up there and try to bring the family together. Y'all have seen this girl do do um um shows um for cl and classes, vacations, all that stuff. Remember she did that vacation where she had about 50 people there, and she had the people say, if you ever can, whoever count how many people get, I'll give you some money and all that. She has done a good thing. And guess what? Mom, she is right. Because if you, if I live down Bush Garden and I had grandkids, they'll be there. And matter of fact, if it was a Bush Garden down the street, a lot of these kids in the neighborhood would be going with me. Y'all want to go? Tell your mom and you, go with, you with Miss Angie, I'll take you. Sometimes mothers, we got to step our game up too. We got to step our game up to be mothers. We got to step it up. So mom, if you come past this video, I, I know you might not like it. I know you don't care for it. And that's why I'm, I, let me tell you something. something I'm going to tell y'all something real quick. I'm thankful for the, the 200 and what this down, maybe down to 62, um, 272 or 273, because people come on here, they describe and they take you out. I don't even worry about that. I want the ones that love me to subscribe to my channel because I'm planning not going nowhere unless God take me away. I want the real ones to subscribe to my channel. And just like she wants the real ones to support her that's on her YouTube and on her platform. And yes, mom, you're wrong because I look at it like this. Is that your daughter? That's your blood daughter. You know, she been traumatized to, from, from, from a little girl to now and you still putting her through that. Yes, you are wrong. And it's not that I'm taking peach side and none of that, but right and right and wrong is wrong. Y'all always hear me say that in my videos, right and is right. Wrong is wrong. In my opinion. Allegedly, in my opinion, I look at it like this. She got some, she, she made it. Hey, it gotta be real. I don't believe she lied. But what you gonna do to help the situation? You gonna go in there and you gonna make a page and say, um, well, this and this. No, mom, fix it. What you looking for? You looking for wood to fix it? He can't fix it. He wasn't there when she was a child. He was not there. It was you on Peach. And, and some family members. You can't sit up there. You can't sit up there and... Uh, come on, Mom. I know I'm going to get a little black flag or whatever y'all call it. Behind it, I don't care. I don't care what y'all got to say. I don't care what y'all feel. I've been there. 
I know how he feels to have a hurt of a mother. So I know how I feel. I'm just telling y'all, it's a bits of pieces of it. You feel in the lines. Being hit on because somebody said you did something and you didn't do it or, or be calling names and stuff because somebody said that you did it, but your mother would need the other person. So I know how she feels. And I'm sorry that I'm upset today. I'm sorry that I'm feeling the way I'm feeling. I'm sorry. I'm only human. Just like she is. Just like you are. Just like your uncles, your aunties, your children, your, your grandchildren. We all are human. God created us to have feelings. That's how he works. Y'all, when, when will it end? It ain't going to never end, right? Yeah, it's not. It's not. Because we don't, we don't care for each other. Let me tell y'all something. Me and my daughter went through something that is horrible. I might not never share it on YouTube because I know y'all probably see it. But I would kill someone for my daughter. She don't know that. But damn if I'm going to sit up there and be in a room and all these people around, I don't care if they family or not. But if, my, if she say, Mom, oh, don't don't share. I'm, please don't bring that up. I'm not going to open up my damn mouth. There's certain things you just don't do to a child. I still think about how I had to walk to school and 30 degrees with ice and stuff still on the ground with some old combat shoes that hurt my feet. Kids laughing at me. But that teacher saw that no matter what was on my feet, she took the time to say, sit here, child. I got you. She took me away from all those kids and set me in that little room. It was just a, I will never forget, it was like a little small little heater. And with his books. I think it was like the time I room or whatever, and I had my shoes off. I finished my work. I catched up on my work because I felt good. And when the kids got dismissed for the class, she called one of my siblings to walk me home. Yes. And there was no kids there to tease me as I was walking home. And I'll never forget my brother said, Mom, let you wear those shoes to school? I said, yeah. And he, he saw the hurt in my face. You know what he did? <laughs> I ain't trying to get emotional here on this YouTube channel. I don't know what he did with them boots. But they were gone. They were gone. I'm sorry. But I understand how she feel. When you being teased at, and you feel like nobody's there to help you out. So to these people that's talking bad and saying the things that they're saying, be careful. These people in here that are sitting up here faking, and you got it like that now, Take care of your blessings. Don't come on here and make yourself look like a fool. And that's all I was saying about Atlanta. You got it. You got it. You don't have to fake for nothing no more. You don't have to fake nothing. You're where you want to be. And at the end of the day, I still want to see you grow. I still want to see Atlanta grow. I still want to see Peach grow. I most definitely want to see Latrice Allen grow. I want to see everybody that's on this platform grow. But if I was to sit here 
and subscribe to all of y'all channels. Would y'all subscribe back to mine? No. Mm -hmm. No, you won't. The Peach Abaco passed this video. I love you. I really do love you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I might can't give everything financially and meet all your groups and stuff like that. But if you look back on my comments, I'm a good supporter. But mom, you were wrong. You were wrong in a lot of ways, mom. You were wrong. I just pray for the family to get better. I pray that we all can move on from anything or anything traumatized us in our life that we're going through, even if it could be uh, no, uh, not having enough love from your, your family, your loved ones, your spouse, your brother, your sisters, your auntie, your uncles, or anything that you felt, even people who've been molested. It's hard. Y'all yeah, me get out here. I ain't got emotional on this. Angie's place. I'm washing dishes. I gotta make phone calls and look into some things. But at the end of the day, I just know that I'm human. I have feelings. But right is right and wrong is wrong. YouTubers, I've been saying this for so long. Look at my old videos. I even made one maybe last year or after last year. And said, we got to do better. I made that video. Look at it. This ain't just something new. I've been made that stuff before Atlanta. I've been made that stuff before Latrice Allen. I've been made that stuff before Peach McIntyre. I been done this. So it ain't like it's something new. I'm not doing this to get up like that. I'm doing this because I'm sincere. Did most of you. Yeah. So, let me get this here together, get myself together. Shout out to Peach McIntyre. Shout out to you, Peach. And if nobody told you they love you today other than Woods, I love you. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep being the woman that you are. Because you are. You're going to go so far that you're going to sit back and you're going to have people just working for you. I know it's going to happen. When you're gifted like Atlanta, Latrice Allen, Peach McIntyre, and other celebrities here on this platform right here, take it to the furthest you can take it and pass it on. Pass it on to your children. I think I said enough right now. I'm going to get myself together. Have a good day. I love y'all. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you to my new subscribers. And thank you for just hanging in with me. And just thank you for just knowing that I'm human just like you. I got feelings just like you. I, I wear my heart on my sleeve. But I get tired of things too. But that being said, y'all have a good day. I love you. I'll talk to you later.